Welcome to the AV Forums video review of the Mio MiView 658 Wi-Fi dash cam. You can access further AV Forums reviews from the link in the description. The Mio MiView 658 Wi-Fi is available for £150, which puts it alongside the higher end dash cams available on the market today. Starting with the unboxing, we can see it comes with the standard car charger cable with a mini USB connection on the end. No additional USB cable is included for connecting to a computer, but most of us should have one of those lying around. So whilst it would have been nice to see one in the box, it isn't really a deal breaker. No memory card is provided in the box unfortunately. It uses a standard micro SD card up to 128GB in capacity. Then we have the Mio MiView 658 itself, along with the windscreen mount, quick start guide and the usual warranty information. The camera has plenty of features to justify the price point of £150, including a touchscreen, safety camera warnings, GPS, G-Sensor, parking mode and extreme HD recording to name just a few. It also includes Wi-Fi for automatically transferring recordings to your smartphone via the connected app. This is a 20 second clip in event of the collision or a meteor strike. The Mio MiView 658 is fairly compact in size. Here we can see a size comparison against the Nextbase 512G. The menu system is easy to navigate via the 2.7 inch touchscreen, although you do have to be quick as it starts to record if you haven't touched a button for a few seconds. Within the menu system here we can see the various options including the file playback, still camera, sound recording option, Wi-Fi and the main system settings. The menu isn't the quickest to navigate as you can see on the video, occasionally pressing a button will do nothing which causes you to press it again, only for all the presses to have registered and it takes you to an option you didn't want. It almost feels like there's an input lag within the menu system. Delving further into the menu, we can see the various options such as a safety camera configuration, parking mode, video recording and further system settings. Everything you might need does appear to be covered in the menu, it's just a shame it's a little sluggish and be careful with that format button as it doesn't ask for confirmation and only gives you 10 seconds to cancel before your amazing videos are gone forever. The MiView 658 includes free safety camera updates for the lifetime of the device, but should any be missing from the system, these can be added with a simple one touch of the safety camera button on the main screen. The safety camera system works very well with the MiView displaying on screen the speed limit and distances from the camera. An audible voice warning can also be enabled which alerts you that the safety camera is coming up and the speed limit of that camera, just in case you're driving in a world of your own, oblivious to the current speed limit. Here we can see a variety of videos recorded using the MiView 658, covering various times of the day, weather types and also some nighttime action. The date, time, speed and even the GPS coordinates are recorded on the video. Whilst the camera does include an Extreme HD video recording option, which is 2304 by 1296 at 30 frames per second and appears to be a dashcam only option, to use the Wi-Fi recording option the camera does need to be set to 1080p. The camera performed very well in all of our tests with the quality of the video being excellent with details such as number plates and faces being clear and easy to make out. The videos may not be as clear as we would have liked as it has picked up the heating elements in our windscreen which is the reason for those vertical lines you can see on the videos. You can of course revert to the extreme HD recording option if you want to get the best quality possible with the camera. Unfortunately that does mean sacrificing the Wi-Fi option as we mentioned earlier. The Wi-Fi option is a very useful one and once set up with the free MiView app available on both Android and iOS, in the event of a collision the camera will automatically send a 20 second clip to your phone, providing you are still in range of the camera of course. With the increasing use and visibility of dash cams, the Wi-Fi option does remove the worry of the dash cam being stolen in an accident by a third party trying to cover up their transgression, as you will have already been sent the evidence. On the audio side of things, which I haven't included in this video as it's mostly me swearing at bad drivers, the pickup is excellent and the audio quality is very clear. The windscreen mount is the standard type and fits very easily to the dash cam. The suction mount holds it in place very securely to the windscreen. The cable is fitted through the windscreen mount though, which does make it a little tricky to remove from the camera as you can see here. If you want to remove it from view overnight for example, it isn't the easiest or quickest of systems to manage. We ended up having to take the whole thing off the windscreen and trying to prise the bracket from the camera itself, which is not an easy task. To sum up, we found the Mio MiView 658 Wi-Fi very easy to use and operate. For £150 it comes with a whole host of excellent features. The video and audio recording quality is top-notch with a wide field of view, 
excellent day and night recordings and it does particularly well in low light conditions. The few negatives we found were the menu system being a little laggy and the windscreen mount has been designed a little too fiddly for our liking. Overall we would give this a solid 8 out of 10 and award this our AV Forums recommended award. Thank you for watching this video, please like and subscribe.